The Mystery of the Phantom Island Chapter 1 The Vanishing Island Axel, Laura, and Max were on a summer boat trip, enjoying the sun and the gentle waves, when they spotted something strange in the distance. Out of nowhere, an island appeared, rising from the ocean as if by magic. Look at that! Axel exclaimed, pointing towards the horizon. Is that on the map? Laura asked, pulling out a worn chart and scanning it intently. Max shook his head. Nope. It's not marked anywhere. This is so weird. Driven by curiosity, the three friends decided to investigate. As they approached the island, it seemed almost ethereal, shrouded in a light mist that gave it an otherworldly appearance. They anchored their boat and set foot on the sandy shore. The mist cleared slowly, revealing a dense, mysterious jungle. This place gives me the creeps, Max muttered, looking around warily at the thick foliage and shadows. Axel grinned, his eyes sparkling with excitement. Which means it's perfect for an adventure. They ventured into the jungle, the air thick with the scent of tropical flowers and the sound of strange, whispering leaves. The atmosphere was alive with unseen magic, making every step feel like the beginning of a grand discovery. Suddenly, the ground beneath them trembled slightly, and the island seemed to shimmer as if it were a mirage on the verge of vanishing. We need to find out why this island appears and disappears, Lara said, her eyes shining with determination. She was already imagining the mysteries they would uncover. They pushed deeper into the jungle, guided by their sense of adventure and the unspoken bond of friendship that always led them into the heart of the unknown. What secrets did this vanishing island hold? They were determined to find out. Chapter 2 The Strange Creatures As they delved deeper into the jungle, the trio encountered creatures they had never seen before. Brightly colored birds with four wings flitted between the trees, their plumage a kaleidoscope of colors. Glowing insects buzzed around, leaving trails of light in their wake. A small, furry creature with six legs and luminous eyes watched them curiously from a branch. Whoa, look at that! Axel pointed at a giant butterfly with translucent wings shimmering in the sunlight, each beat of its wings sending ripples of color through the air. This place is like another world, Laura whispered, her voice filled with awe as she took in the vibrant life around them. Everywhere she looked, there was something new and astonishing. Suddenly, they heard a rustling in the bushes. Out stepped a creature that looked like a cross between a lizard and a monkey, its green scales glistening and its agile limbs moving with a fluid grace. Its eyes gleamed with intelligence as it stared at them for a moment before scampering away, stopping occasionally to ensure they were following. Do you think it wants us to follow it? Max asked, a mix of excitement and apprehension in his voice. Only one way to find out, Axel replied, already moving forward, his curiosity getting the better of him. The creature led them to an ancient stone path overgrown with vines. The path wound through the jungle, leading to the ruins of what appeared to be an ancient civilization. Moss-covered statues stood sentinel along the way, their features worn by time. Crumbling walls and faded murals hinted at the stories of a once great society. In the center of the ruins stood a large, ornate stone door, covered in mysterious symbols, its presence commanding their attention. The intricate carvings told tales of ancient rituals and forgotten lore. Axel, Laura, and Max exchanged excited glances, knowing they were on the brink of uncovering something extraordinary. What do you think is behind that door? Laura asked, her voice trembling with anticipation. We're about to find out, Axel said, stepping closer to examine the symbols more closely. The adventure was just beginning, 
and they were ready to uncover the secrets of the strange creatures and the ancient ruins that surrounded them. Chapter 3 The Ancient Ruins The trio stood before the massive stone door, examining the symbols etched into its surface. Intricate carvings covered every inch, depicting scenes of ancient rituals and unknown creatures. These look like some kind of ancient writing, Lara said, tracing the carvings with her fingers. The stone felt cool and smooth under her touch, the symbol strangely familiar yet alien. Max pulled out his notebook and began sketching the symbols with meticulous detail. Maybe we can figure out what they mean, he said, his eyes flicking between the door and his sketches. He had always had a knack for puzzles and ancient languages. As they worked, the ground trembled again, a reminder of the island's unstable nature. The air around them shimmered slightly, like a mirage wavering in the heat. We need to hurry, Axel urged, glancing nervously at the shimmering surroundings. I think the island might disappear again. Lara and Max nodded, quickening their pace. After several attempts and a lot of trial and error, they managed to decipher the code. Axel pressed a sequence of symbols, his heart pounding with anticipation. Slowly, the door creaked open, revealing a dark passageway leading underground. Do we go in? Max asked, his voice tinged with both excitement and apprehension. Lara nodded firmly. We've come this far. We need to find out what's down there. With torches in hand, they descended into the darkness. The air grew cooler as they moved deeper into the earth, the passageway narrowing and winding like a snake. Their footsteps echoed off the stone walls, adding to the eerie atmosphere. The passage led them to a vast chamber filled with ancient artifacts. Shelves lined the walls, holding relics of a bygone era, dusty scrolls, jeweled goblets, and strange, unidentifiable objects. In the center of the chamber stood a large, ornate pedestal, intricately carved and shimmering with a faint, ethereal light. What is this place? Lara whispered, her voice reverberating in the stillness. Axel approached the pedestal, his torch illuminating the carvings. I think we've found something incredible, he said awe evident in his voice. Max joined him, eyes wide with wonder. These artifacts must be thousands of years old. Imagine the history they hold. As they explored the chamber, the reality of their discovery began to sink in. They were standing in a place untouched by time, filled with secrets waiting to be uncovered. And they knew this was only the beginning of their adventure. Chapter 4. The Secret of the Island On the pedestal lay a glowing crystal, pulsing with a soft, blue light that cast eerie shadows on the chamber walls. Surrounding it were intricate carvings depicting the island's history, telling tales of ancient guardians and lost civilizations. This must be the heart of the island, Lara said, her voice filled with awe. She reached out to touch the crystal, feeling a strange warmth radiating from it. As her fingers brushed against the crystal, it suddenly projected a holographic map of the island into the air. The map showed the island's various phases of appearing and disappearing, cycles that had been happening for centuries. It's some kind of time mechanism, Max realized, his eyes wide with astonishment. The crystal controls the island's presence in our world. Axel examined the carvings closely, his brow furrowed in concentration. Looks like the island was created to protect something. Maybe there's more to this crystal than we know. Suddenly, the ground shook violently, and the island began to shimmer more intensely. The air was filled with a low, rumbling sound, and dust fell from the ceiling. We need to take the crystal and get out of here. Lara shouted over the noise, urgency in her voice. 
Axel carefully removed the crystal from its pedestal, and as he did, the chamber started to collapse around them. They turned and raced back through the passageway, the ground shaking beneath their feet. Dodging falling debris, they made their way out into the jungle. As they reached the shore, the island began to fade, its outline becoming blurry and indistinct. They jumped into their boat just in time and watched in awe as the island disappeared, leaving only the crystal in Axel's hand as proof of their adventure. Well, that was close, Max said, panting, his face flushed with the thrill of their narrow escape. Lara smiled, holding the crystal up to the light. We did it. We discovered the secret of the vanishing island. And now, we have to figure out what to do with this crystal, Axel added, looking at the glowing artifact in his hand, its light reflecting in his determined eyes. With their hearts still pounding from the adventure, they set sail for home. The excitement of their discovery lingered, and they knew that many more mysteries awaited them in the future. The vanishing island had revealed one of its secrets, but the crystal hinted at many more adventures to come.